Hey bitches, my name is Friday. Specifically, Black Friday. I've been holding the secret for months now, but I've been working on designing Christmas merch for you guys, and because the holiday seasons are coming up, I mean, I look stupid in it right now, but there's Bidget beanies now, Christmas themed. And there's Christmas sweaters. This is the one we made. It has a sunflower, some mugs, and Bidget written all over it. Wait, this is... <laughs> This is looks. 2006 O2L. Like. If I ever get broken up with someone and I come in like this, you know why. <laughs> we also have me sipping on some tea and I'm in a yellow blanket. There is a mug version as well. And we also have a sunflower rising from the snow, which is like, you know, an indication of spring coming, even though it's November. Either way, I'm so happy with this stuff and can't believe Crowdmade finally got it done. It's been stressful, but it's been so worth it to see it coming to real life. And like, this is the first time I'm ever doing holiday stuff and I've always wanted to. So it does mean a lot to me. But the point is, I want you guys to mark your calendars. Between November 28th and December 2nd, there's gonna be a 15% discount off every item on Crowdmade. Convince your parents that this will be your Christmas presents. You can get all these items and they'll arrive before Christmas. Just send this video to your mom and dad. Like, listen, your child watches me. They want Christmas presents, 15% off. Like, you, you would love the deal. So yeah, just mark your calendars, be ready. That is not the point of this video though, because today I'm going to an event. Like, I got invited to an event. I got, an inv I got a formal invitation to a to an adult event. Not really my thing. I've never been the person who is like fancy. I don't wear a suit every other week. I used to wear suits all the time and like plaid shirts just for piano competitions. So I don't really like that anymore, but I do like dressing fancy for the occasion. I just don't have a reason to because once again, I don't get invited to stuff. But I did tweet out a few weeks ago that I got invited to a party. And I know it's a thing that YouTubers get these invitations to go as themselves. It's a lot of PR stuff and usually it involves beauty gurus. I I've seen them go on many trips and I've always wanted to go and interact with people because I do want to increase like my connections with people. I'm an adult now, I want to do adult things. So I want to figure out future collaborations and just get to know people outside of like what I already know, which is one other YouTuber. <laughs> That's the thing. I like going to meetings. I like building connections with people who are involved on the internet and I think it's important. So I got invited to a Shutterfly event and this is not sponsored by the way. I sponsor my own merch. But it's their 20th anniversary and they're having a holiday party right in Midtown and it's at the Hudson Mercantile. And I first was like, okay, so it's just wear holiday clothes. I'll just wear my sweater and some green plaid pants. And then I looked up pictures and I realized, Jesus Christ, the person who's decorating is Mindy Weiss, who if you don't know, plan Justin Bieber's wedding. It's a little bougie, you can say that. I have my outfit back there, but I have to get there in two hours. So I thought, why not do a get ready with me? I've done this once for prom. You guys really liked it. And I just miss the chit chat videos because it's, it's just been a while since I've done it. So I did ask you guys on Twitter, send me questions while I get ready so we can just like have a nice talk in this video. I'll talk more about how my life at NYU has been. I'll talk more about what's going on behind the scenes on YouTube, specifically the designs I've been doing and like what's gonna come in the future. But let's just take this in a few inches. So I do have some makeup now, I've increased it. I will not say I'm a professional at all. I'm not gonna explain every step like a makeup artist because I'm not a makeup artist. I just do what I think is best for my face and I don't really wear a lot of makeup anyways. But first of all, this gotta go. I'm gonna tuck that behind my the rest of my hair, which I also have to do before I leave. What time is it? Shit. So I have nothing on my face right now besides like sunscreen. And that was about five hours ago I did that, so I would like to freshen it up. I have a little bit of, you know, oil on my face. It's like freshly there. So what I'm gonna do is just take some powder. Now, I'm not gonna tell you what brand this is, simply because I don't want you guys to buy this. I wish they had more shades for people, especially the darker skin tones. So I'm just gonna say I'm using a powder. And I'm just putting this all over my face with the glossy powder brush that I impulsively bought for no reason, because I don't even use it that much. But this just helps matte my skin down. And the problem is, all my powders are too dark for me now. And you can't really tell on camera because this ring light does everything for me. But these are all of my summer shades. And you guys know I tan very fast, so it's kind of annoying having to deal with finding your shade. So I have three foundations that don't match me, and I have one concealer that does. Then I have a really, really pale concealer 
that I use to try to balance it out, but well, it's a process. So if you notice that my skin is patchy looking now, it's because that powder doesn't match, but it's okay. We'll put foundation over it. Next, I'm just gonna take this top of my lid to mix my foundations because I have to now. I'm going in with some concealer that matches me. I'm not really gonna tell you guys what products I'm using because I don't want to recommend them. I rather recommend like cruelty-free brands, so I'm just gonna we're gonna skip this and we're gonna start answering some questions. Was moving away from your strict parents liberating or was it the same? Um, I don't know if I've specified how strict my parents are. I don't think I have, but my parents are very chill. Like they trust me a lot. I trust them a lot. We have a good relationship going. So I don't think there's any difference with me moving. I mean, obviously I get to adult for myself, which I've always wanted to do. But yeah, personally, I don't see a big difference. I mean, personally, I don't see a big difference. I mean, they don't have to see my grades here, but I do care about my own grades. All right, so let's see if this even matches me close. Nah. Eh, sort of. I'll just blend it down my neck if I have to. So yes, I'm just gonna put this all over my face. And then, because I don't believe in beauty blenders and this is worth the best for me, I just rub it in with my fingers. Any video ideas that didn't work out slash were never released? There's been like, I think five videos that have never been released because one, I just didn't feel like it was a good video. And two, the video itself got corrupted. Like when I'm editing a video and I realized that like, oh, I did this in a rush. Like I, was, I wasn't on time. I just won't upload because I want you guys to have, you know, good quality videos. I think it's important to give you guys that. And the videos that I have cut out, that was more like back in high school before I really cared about YouTube. I used to be like, I just need a video out this week. And now it's, I want to give good quality content to you guys. And I think it works. Like we have a really good relationship. So I'm going to take my beautiful off-brand $2 blender. You guys understand where I'm coming from whenever I say I can't upload because I have family things to do. I have to hang out with a friend I haven't seen in a while. You guys understand that and I try to update you if I don't happen to do a video each week. And that's another thing I really appreciate about this platform. I know a lot of YouTubers don't get away with that and I'm just one of the lucky ones. I don't know why, but you know, every time I do a sponsorship, which is the thing I'll touch on soon, I always get scared you guys will be like, oh, he's just doing it for the money or, oh, he's a YouTube sellout. But you guys know I'm always honest in my videos. There is no filter that goes on between the camera and me. You know, I can't tell if this looks right or not. I feel like it's the ring light doing everything for me. But you guys are always proud of me for getting a sponsorship because you know I don't do them often. I really don't like the idea of using money. You guys know I don't do sponsorships that often, but when I do, you always congratulate me and I find that so like, I appreciate that a lot. I hope you know. Okay, foundation's done. And I have been reaching out to more companies lately, mainly because I do want to make connections with people. And, you know, doing sponsorship, it does help paying for college and I'm trying to do that. But I would never just take a deal specifically for the money. Like all the brand deals I've done, Curology, Skillshare, Amazon, they're always things that I've used in the past. I would never just take a quick buck. And I am <laughs> pattering my face right now. My friends have always said like, Frederick, why don't you reach out to more brands? Like you always use them. Why not try to ma make a relationship and get something out of it? And I guess I always thought I wasn't good enough for it because you know my username, that midget Asian isn't necessarily the best username you want to have when you're trying to work with a professional brand because they see it and they obviously see the word midget and they don't bother knowing like why is it that which if you don't know people bullied me by calling me that in third grade so I used it against them but most brands wouldn't even bother learning that second step and they just instantly like block my email probably not I'm not saying they do I just get scared that they would but recently I've been reaching out to more people like I reached out to Curology I reached out again to Skillshare I reached out to Glossier some other skincare brands um Kooloui the skincare fridge brand and they're all so nice about it and I just didn't think I'd be able to like have that connection so fast but it's nice I, I like doing that side of YouTube you know the partnerships reaching out to other companies, getting your name around the online world, basically. Maybe I did do a good job. This looks great. Obviously, I don't really wear a lot of makeup. Every day, I'll just wear foundation, maybe some eyeshadow. But since this is a nightlife and I have a good outfit, I want it to be sultry looking. But I always like making my makeup understated to the point where you question, does he have good skin or is he just wearing makeup. And the truth is I do have good skin, but I'm also wearing makeup because I wanted to enhance it even more. I like enhancing what I have already. That's it. So I don't wear concealer. I don't feel the need to. It's like dark circles are a reality. Deal with it. I don't put that big ass triangle of concealer underneath. I just match it with my face. I'm not really looking for a sculpted look. I'm looking for a, you know, good base is all. Because I take a lot of my makeup off. Like the blender I have soaks up a lot of product because I want it to. I don't want it to be cakey. Next, I'm just taking an elf highlighter that I got from my friend. It's like the baked versions, I think. And I just... 
open a little bit on my nose, the nose bridge above the eyebrow. This is what Jackie Ina has taught me and just on the cheeks. And yes, I'm using it with my finger because I don't feel the need for a brush for every single thing. Wow, amazing, beautiful. Someone asked, my music taste. You can follow me on that Midget Asian for Spotify if you really want to know specifically. Right now, it's just been a lot of lo-fi for when I'm doing homework. I love listening to Christmas music because it's already November. Specifically, I'm listening a lot to Conan Gray. And by the time this video goes up, I've already been to one of his concerts. Because I'm going to the one November 12th at Terminal 5, and I'm so excited. Also, I'm using Glossy Blush. This is uh, the color Dawn. But I put way too much on my finger, so I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Because I don't want to waste this. And you just rub it in slowly. And yes, I put the blush on over the highlighter simply because I feel like if you put highlighter on after blush it kind of sticks to it so I don't like that put some blush on my nose you know I want to give that flushed look how has your homework been recently is it stressful or is it fun my homework is one of the funnest things to do like obviously it's a lot because it gets tedious with designing but I mean you've seen in my vlogs like I get to build stuff I get a laser cut it's just always been my dream to do that and I'm so glad I came here so my friends coming down to I guess Visit me? It's coming down. Oh shit, that's a lot. Um, I'm going to blend that out now. Great. Notice how I said I wanted to be understated, and I end up doing this. By the way, the rest of it, I just put on my lip. All right, give me a moment to blend this all out with my fingers. How do you plan your outfits depending on weather and scenery? Uh, damn, my roommate asked me this question too. Usually I try to wear one shirt once a week. I don't like repeating them too often because I already have a lot of them and I like mixing it up. But I always see like what type of shirt I want to wear and I just match it with my pants. I just understand what will look good together, I guess. I don't know, look up color theory. Like my belts will always match my shoes. Cause that's just how it should work. Hey, no, you can come in. I don't care. No, <laughs> just close the door. Oh, oh yeah. You can check. I, think, I thought you were just talking. You can see. Yeah, it's good. Good. Okay, good. What do I hate in New York? Um, people are rude as fuck. My friends are here, by the way. Say hi. No. Oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> okay, next up, I'm taking literally an elf palette and just using some random brush I have. I take three browns that are a little bit darker than my face, and then I just put it all over my lid to make it darker. And I think it defines out my crease. It also opens my eyes up. So next, I'm just taking literally the pink and a lighter pink, tap off the excess. And I put that all over my lid too, because I think it gives a nice pop of color. Once again, like I literally don't put a lot on because I don't want people to know I have eyeshadow on. I just think it makes my eyes pop a little more because they're pretty small. I mean, I do have Asian eyes, it's a mono lid. But doing this just makes it sink my eyes in a little more, which is the look I'm going for. Good. Guys, there's nothing wrong with loving yourself. All right, so I do this when I wanna be very fancy. We're gonna take a smaller pencil brush, I think that's what they're called, and I'm gonna take those same colors and just put it underneath near my waterline. I also wear glasses over this, so it doesn't really matter. Like, let's do another question. How is New York different from where I used to live? I lived in two different places. I lived in Charleston, South Carolina for most of my life. Then I moved to New Jersey, South Jersey specifically. Both of the places, I find that they're pretty like, well, religious is my honest opinion. They're very suburban, like, you know, cookie cutter families. Like I'm talking three bedroom, two bathroom, two children, families not divorced, like that kind of look. And I always just thought like, I really wish there was more diversity. So that's why I like New York so much. And every day is different. I got so bored back then. Like downtown Charleston, if you have whoever lives there, literally nothing compared to New York. It's like one block. And there was only like one good street in Charleston, which was King Street. And then in Morristown, we had one street, which was just Italian shops. So like, I didn't really have a place to have fun besides Philly. And I couldn't even go to Philly that often because no one wanted to come because we all had to work. Oh, I forgot my eyebrows. So I have pretty good eyebrows. I worked five years on them, so I would hope so. But I'm literally trying to get rid of this palette. So I take the black shadow and I just line them, thicken it up a little bit, make it look good. You don't really see that big of a difference anyways, but like, at least I'm using up the black shadow. Tell us some fun college experiences. Well, on the second day we moved in, my roommate burned a bagel in the microwave and it almost set off the fire alarm. I just thought that was a really funny experience because it was like a bonding moment because we all had to just sit outside for a while at 3 a.m. Mind you, second day of knowing everyone. I mean, every time I'm hanging out with my friends, it's a funny experience, I'd say. How about Team Trees? Oh, yeah, um, donate to 
Team Trees, please. Let's try to save what we already ruined on this earth. Favorite subject at uni. I say specifically my favorite class is ideation and prototyping, mainly because I get to animate every week. She basically assigned us to do something creative every week and constantly do something, like output something. And I chose Anime CC because I've always wanted to learn how to animate as a kid. I wanted to learn like animatics, how to lip sync so I can make my own characters, like Jaden animations and that stuff. And I just think it's fun. Even though it takes like three hours sometimes, I think it's fun. Is it easier to date in New York? I wouldn't say like, a city specifically will make it easier. I can argue both ways like, oh sure, there's more gay guys in New York in general, but how many of those people actually want a relationship and how many want to just have fun? I haven't been on an official date yet, but I'm not looking to date anymore. Mainly because I don't have time. Like I have to go to class, then I have to do homework, then I have to hang out with my friends. And I just think like having a boyfriend, especially my freshman year, is just gonna take up a lot of time. I genuinely like being single at this point. I don't know, like I, I'm happy. This is the happiest I've been in so long. And you guys know that. I always see you guys commenting like, I like seeing how he's grown from his high school self to his college self. And while editing my videos, I wasn't trying to show you my better life. I was just showing you my life in general. But the fact that you guys caught on to it made me feel good. Cause I was like, you guys pay attention to me as a person, not just the comedic side and like the artsy, stupid stuff, the personal, emotional side. And I really like that. So thank you. I love you guys. Acne routine, skincare routine, please. Uh, I've already done that enough. I might do one for winter because it does change, but just look at the video. That will pop up right here. I think my makeup's done. Yeah, I look good. But I looked good before all of this too. Oh, I forgot chapstick. Because winter is coming. Do I keep little snackies in my pockets when I go out? Um, well, when I go to class, sometimes I don't have time to eat lunch. So I always have sour gummy worms on me and a bag of chips. So what I really wanted to do for my hair was like not do a man bun. Because I know like the man bun is typically hipster and oh like he's a mountain climber who does photography that stereotype but yeah like i wanted my hair to be sort of a swoosh oh my god it looks so good right now damn yeah it, it is brown oh i did get piercings by the way people keep asking like when i got them i got them a month ago but i wanted to be like slicked back and wavy and swoosh i didn't want full bang like 16 year old fred was so i'm gonna test to see if i can make something happen, but I don't want to record it really. Cause you won't be able to hear me. Like it's just going to be the hair dryer. So I'll be right back. Okay. So I just wasted like 15 minutes of my life because I look the same. I don't know how to style that hair, but honestly it's okay. My friend says she likes the man bun more cause it looks more like sleek and professional. You know, like I did this and I can pull it off and you can. I'm already getting oily. Oh my God. Slow down please and i'm gonna put on one more light layer of powder now outfit time so prior to this i did not think i would have to bring my fancy clothes to nyu i don't even have any fancy clothes either way i had one tuxedo that barely fits because it was in eighth grade that i bought it so i had to buy some new stuff which is an investment but like you're gonna wear this stuff for the rest of your life frederick get used to it you guys know i don't like dressing fancy i like dressing preppy so because it's supposed to be holiday themed i try to keep it simple and sleek but we have a black button up that has this weird flowery print that i really like we're gonna match it with a red bow tie some black pants that are skinny some flaming red socks along with these shiny black shoes so i'm gonna put together the whole outfit and i'll show you the final product and this is the final look shiny shoes red socks black pants cute button up red bow tie good glasses good makeup good face good attitude and like every youtuber i'm running late now so i do have to go i'm going to vlog the experience so you get to see what going to an event is like because this is my first one too i don't know what to expect but if you enjoyed this video like leave a comment down below and subscribe for more videos every saturday get ready for holiday merch it's coming and i love you guys and everything is less than three okay now let's go see matt Father. Hi. Hi. You look snazzy. You're like dad and mom. Oh, you're recording. That's, that's the yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, you yeah. ready? I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go to Uber? What if there's like no one? <laughs> I mean, if Mindy Weiss is there, I, I, just, I don't know. I get paranoid. Like, what if, what if we get disappointed? Never mind. Hello. Hello. How are you? you This is so nice. Oh, there's mine. We can't have that. Want to toast?